Hi, this is Supreet, and today we're going to talk about uh, a very interesting topic. Uh, the topic for today is using a new developer toolkit in Visual Studio. Now, what is a developer toolkit? Now, it is uh, brought in by Microsoft itself. So, it's a C, uh, C Sharp developer toolkit. Uh, now, what is the advantage of this? Now, we all have been using Visual Studio for .NET development uh, and we see a huge benefit of using it. Although it is a heavyweight champion now, um, but the ease of use uh, and the feature it provides is, um, is absolutely awesome. So as a .NET developer, as a .NET programmer, everyone mostly pre prefer um, Visual Studio. Uh, than Visual Studio Code. Uh, Visual Studio Code is a, a lightweight editor. Uh, maybe it is um, nice to use it for uh, uh, know, a JS framework development like Angular development, React uh, development, or for that matter, Golang, Python. So it is much more uh, easier to use Visual Studio Code uh, since it, it is a lightweight editor. Now, if you want to bring in some of the features, uh, nice features of Visual Studio in your Visual Studio code. So we have uh, uh, an extension called C Sharp Dev Kit. So if you see, you have 23 million downloads. Uh, it has, um, I'm sorry, over here. So um, once you've uh, installed this, the base C Sharp, C -sharp language support uh, extension also would be downloaded. Now, if you see here, uh, it's um, official Microsoft extension um, and it's a preview release. So if you see the preview release number is V0.1.103. Now, once you install this, um, uh, I'll show you uh, what nice feature would you get. You see over here, we get solution explorer. Uh, wherein you know uh, all your solution files is visible, um, which was not available earlier with uh, uh, Visual Studio Code Editor, right? So I have a, a sample uh, project created, but if you want to create a new um, project, right? So maybe you will have uh, an option. Uh, just click on this. All right, um, there is an option to create a new projects. So you can create new projects. It will give you uh, a template for creation of a project like the way you have um, you know, uh, in Visual Studio. Look at this, you have new project and then you will have um, a template choose from you want to uh, create a api project so you have a template you want to create a blazor project you have an app you want to create um console app you can select this template so like the way you used to you know select the template in visual studio maybe it is visually better uh, but you will still have a template so i have selected uh api project and i've created one sample project and what do you get? You get, uh, this is kind of minimal API, right? So uh, you get um, you know, uh, <clears throat> all the necessary boilerplate codes um, to run this application. Um, so you want to create a new file, um, you're gonna say add a new file and then you get these mini templates. Although if you see, I don't see a template for creating controller, I don't see a template for uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, many other things like, for example, okay, we have interface over here. Uh, maybe if I want to create a config file, if I want to create a JSON file, so I might not have that um, template, but although uh, most frequently used class, interface, reserve pages. So all that we have a template for. So now, um, what I want to do is I want to test this, run this. So if you see here, you have debugging and then you have start new instance. Let me see if this works. 
uh, I'm gonna run this. So it's gonna build. Uh, this is one new thing that I wanted to show you. It says run task, and then you have number of task over here. You can say dot net, and you can say build. Um, it builds your project. If you want to clean your solution, you can say dot net clean. Then it runs your solution. And I'm gonna say dot net run. So this should build and run your solution. All right, so it is loading. Hopefully this should work. It still doesn't work. So we were pointing to a different uh, port number earlier, which was wrong. So now um, with that command, you can see um, you hit a swagger URL and you get endpoints. So this is um, an endpoint uh, that we can try uh, when we execute. It runs as charm. So basically, um, if you don't want to use Visual Studio and if you want to use Visual Studio code and get a little amount of uh, features that Visual Studio has, you can uh, you know, use this uh, developer toolkit C sharp dev kit and run your solution. You can either um, go with your terminal and say .NET run or you can go with um, you know build rebuild clean whatever you want to do then you can you know uh, run your solution all right um so over here also you have um you know uh, so um this provides some uh, easier utility uh, and a nice feature so yeah, I mean, if you have tried this, let me know what is your take on this.